and welcome back to the channel. Today we're here at Hockenheim for the German Grand Prix and for round 11 of the championship. And now let's get in to the qualifying report. And so on to the end of our lap in Q1 here and going across the line and into P4 provisionally there and on to the end of the session now our teammates got ahead of us but it's only Q1 and it's just about getting in to the next session of Q2 and so as we go on to the end of our lap on the medium compound tyres we go across the line and it's P11 so we're going to have to make an improvement on the soft compound tyres and as we go on to that lap we're held up a wee bit in traffic as we cross the line and we go into P6 and make it through to the final part of qualifying here again getting beaten by our teammate but it's all about Q3 and how we pull off the lap and onto the end of our first run and opening the DRS and then across the line we go into P7 and just behind Sergio Perez there but now on to the end of the session now we're going to try and improve on our lap time where will this put us on to the grid and it puts us into P7 as we qualify just behind the two Red Bulls. Let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position and it's Valtteri Bottas that completes the front row. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Leclerc, Vettel, Sergio Perez and Verstappen, the Rainmaster, Weber, Stroll and Devon Butler, Norris, Holkenberg, Kimi Raikkonen and Ricardo, Grosjean, Giovinazzi, Daniel Kvyat and Alexander Albon, Russell and Robert Kubica takes the last spot on the grid and with preparations almost complete let's head down to the track and so it's on to favorite lights and away we go for the start of this german grand prix getting a good start compared to verstappen and we go side by side with them into the first corner and we hold it around the outside of them and take away p6 and it's sebastian vettel and he's behind his teammate at his home grand prix and he has made the move on his teammate and in to third position now goes the German driver and now on to the start of lap 6 and we are into the pits for our first pit stop and on to a set of medium compound tyres we go and it's now Sergio Perez and after making his stop he finds himself behind the two Williams cars but can he try and overtake them as he has jumped the Ferrari of Leclerc in the pit window as he tries to go around the outside of the first of the two Williams cars and can he make the move stick and yes he can do so but now it's Leclerc who is now trying to go and overtake the Williams car and he does that successfully also but now back on to us and on to lap 8 here and now it's us who's trying to overtake the two Williams cars and into the Sachs curve here and we have made the move on George Russell here up to P15 now and can we close up to Kubica as well through the final corner and we'll get the DRS as well and that'll help us surely to try and overtake the Polish driver here as we go side by side into the first corner can we make this move stick and yes we can just leaving a bit of space on the outside as Kubica sticks his nose still but we're able to take the position and now it's on to Sergio Perez who has found himself on the back of Daniel Ricardo's Renault here and up the inside he goes into the first corner and he makes the move stick and now it's Valtteri Bottas and he is on the back of Daniel Kvyat here and he's going to get the DRS as well and he's gone right to the edge of the track there and up the inside into the hairpin now and he looks like to have made the move stick there and there's a bit of a queue of drivers behind there now and so it's Sebastian Vettel now and he is now on the back of Daniel Kvyat and he goes up the inside into turn one can he make it stick and yes he can and now it is Charles Leclerc and he is now right on the back of Daniel Ricciardo here and he's going to get the DRS as well and now they are side by side and going into the hairpin and can Leclerc make the move stick here it looks like he has but Ricciardo tries to keep it in but Leclerc has made the move stick but now Sergio Perez is right on the back and now side by side with Alex Albon into turn one and he pushes the Toro Rosso car wide and that is contact between Albon and Leclerc and it looks like a piece of front wing from Leclerc has gone off the car and that's going to affect his downforce for the rest of his stint at least and now Albon has lost the position to Ricardo as well there and now it is Max Verstappen and he is now coming out of the pits after his first pit stop and he's onto a set of hard compound tyres and he comes out of the pits behind his teammate 
and might he be going on to the end of the race here on the one stop as we close up to the back of Alex Albon who is side by side with Ricardo and now can we maybe make the most of this by trying to go side by side with Alex Albon here and we do that and now into this next corner can we hold it around the outside here and it looks like we have made this move stick when it's on to the end of lap 13 the start of lap 14 now and it's Ricardo side by side with Leclerc here and Leclerc's push wide and we are able to overtake Leclerc as well here and we're going to get the DRS and can we maybe close into Ricardo here we have a wee look up the inside but Ricardo is more than honest to it there and we're going to get another bit of DRS here now and Ricardo won't get the DRS but it looks like it might be a yellow flag up ahead so we're not going to be able to make the move and that is Sebastian Vettel out of this race and that is not good at all in fact that is disastrous for the championship leader and he's going to lose a lot of points in this championship compared to Lewis Hamilton who is currently leading this race but now it's Perez and he's going to be side by side with Roman Grosjean into turn one and he makes the move stick and now it's for Stappen who's also going to try and pounce on this into the next corner here and they are still side by side is Verstappen and Grosjean and it looks like Verstappen has made this move stick and now on to lap 15 and we are behind Daniel Ricciardo trying to make the overtake which we weren't able to make on the last lap due to the yellow flags and we have made the cutback on Ricardo and we're going to try and hold it around the outside on this corner and I think we're going to get the DRS to maybe hold the position here and make the move stick on Ricardo. but now back to Sergio Perez once more and now he is overtaking Daniel Kvyat who tries to defend as hard as he can but I don't think it's quite going to be enough for the Russian driver who is overtaken by Sergio Perez but now it's on to lap 22 and we are into the pits for our second stop of the race onto another set of medium compound tyres but it looks like on the track map it's going to be very close between us and Kimi Raikkonen we have lost it to him but can we possibly beat Nico Hulkenberg here as he gets ahead of us we're going to try and go side by side with him we are on the mediums however they are on the hards so we should have the tyre advantage here but now it's on to the next lap on top 23 and we are overtaking Kimi Raikkonen now with a bit of DRS and we make this move stick here but now it's Lewis Hamilton and he's trying to overtake Max Verstappen for the lead as he has had to make a second stop and that is side by side and Hamilton takes the lead of this German Grand Prix as we are now on lap 25 and we are going up the inside of Lando Norris who is also on the one stop it looks like here and we have pretty much made this move stick and up into P5 in this race for a disaster race for the Ferrari cars but Max Verstappen has not gave up on the lead just yet as he tries to go round the outside of Lewis Hampton for the lead of the race but unfortunately for Red Bull it's not quite enough and now Kimi Raikkonen is right on the back of Lando Norris here and he's going to get DRS and he's gone to the left here and now they are side by side into the hairpin and Raikkonen has made this move stick and he takes P6 now just behind us there and Norris is going to have to try and repass him and will he do so here into the second corner they are now side by side and can Norris take the position back here these points would be very good for both of these drivers and neither of them want to crash out here and who is going to come out on top in this battle here as they head down into the hairpin and it looks like Norris has taken the position back from Kimi Raikkonen into the hairpin corner but that might not be this battle over just yet however we're going to go a wee bit back to Roman Grosjean who's trying to overtake Nico Hulkenberg here just behind the Norris and Raikkonen battle and Grosjean is going to take P8 here and now we go back to this battle between Raikkonen and Norris and it is going to be the Alfa Romeo driver that gets the DRS here and he's going to go to the right and will he take the position back from Norris and yes he does into the hairpin here and now we go on to the end of the race Lewis Hamilton has won but we have come across the line for a P5 finish for the German Grand Prix I'm sure there will be plenty of celebrations tonight amongst the Mercedes team and they certainly deserve it
And so Lewis Hamilton wins the German Grand Prix, followed by Verstappen and Bottas. But that has had massive changes in the championship, as Vettel only leads the drivers by four points. And Mercedes have now led the constructors by five points. So it's all to play for now in the championship. But if you have enjoyed the video, then do leave a like, share the video around and subscribe to the channel to see more videos on F1 2019. So I will see you next time for another video and goodbye.